Hello! I'm Audio. This is my glorious channel. The fucking Tanegashima people took a territory back, so now we gotta go fight them again. Twice, but that's no biggie. It's just another chance to get in Yuzuhara, you know, and she's not even there. That's cool though. That's cool, you know, I mean... They actually have units, so, I mean... She's gonna go... Let me see what I gotta do here. Uh, Susan may go up front? Sounds good to me. Um, Susan may where? Oh yeah, I used her to scout, so she can't, she can't go up front. What am I thinking? Okay, we gotta set in my archers then. Both of them. Um, because I don't care about either of them at all. And, uh... I need both my guards for the capital. Rizna, is she gonna go? Gekko's not gonna go. Renmaru, I mean, she's gonna get shot by Tanegashima. Do I care? Not that much. Well, no, because I... Alright, I'll send Rance to the capital. I'll do that. I'll do it. I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Go on, do it. Oh, good, he shoots the worst unit. Thank you, Tanagashi, my showing your brilliance. I don't know who he's based on. I don't even know if he's based on anybody. I don't... I don't know. If, if you know, tell me. You guys have given me helpful information so far, so let me know if... If you know. Someone said in the comments that Tanagashi McClan was the first to import this shit. They're f the muskets from the Portuguese. That's cool. Alright, see you around, Maru. Well, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> I don't have any real plans for her. Uh, so, it's, she's like a... She's another dummy unit. I don't care if she dies. I don't... You know. I mean, she's like a... Uh, it's like that guard unit to me. I don't need her. Because I'm not going for her character clear. I don't know if I've gotten that before on, on the channel. I might have. But um, I'm going for Katz's this playthrough because it works out. And I probably won't even get his. I know that I'm going to throw Ko into his unit, which is a part of his thing. I don't know if you know about that or what. And, you know, my luck is supreme, so neither of my people die. Um, I just keep moving along. Intelligence textbook. That's real good. That's a... Uh, not even gonna get used. Okay, Shibata, Meta, Gecko, Elena, Rance. God, that makes me wince. I don't know if I want to do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuka? No. Fuka? Yeah, we're we gonna get Fuka? <laughs> a catchy? We're gonna get a catchy? Yeah. Alright. We'll get a catchy in there. I mean, Rance has already survived the shot from Yuzuhara, so that's fine. And we'll get rid of this guy. This fucking old guy. Get him out of there right away. That other girl... Oh, yeah, he goes right for Rance. Typical shit. Yuzuhara probably will, too. Nice. At least my guards were on their fucking A game, you know? Or I would have just been bullshit super, super hard. Um... So, yeah, that's how that goes. Okay, uh, then Katz is gonna be able to pick up Tanegashima's other shot, no biggie. No biggie, it's cool. Musketeer Defender is going on the offensive. Um, so yeah, this other Miko unit had a speed boost, and she still went last. Okay. Well, you know, no, she went before Akechi, because God forbid Akechi be, you know, outdone his shittiest unit in the game. He must be the supreme shittiest unit, so he will always go last, I guess. That's the new rule. Oh, go ahead, Rance. I mean, she's just gonna get killed by the Shiki. The Shikigami. May as well go in anyway. Like, that's the strength of muskets in this game. Just, like, uh, being completely overpowering early on. Uh... In a fight. The longer a fight goes on, they're just fucking worthless. They become so useless as the fight goes on. Like, they run out of flags, they count as casualties, they... You gotta defend them with a guard unit. It's like a commitment of two front row units to, you know, one ultra burst of damage. And if it fails, then you fucking, you know, what what do you do? You don't have a front row unless you have one ultra god tier unit, you know. You get her in uh, Tanagashima regardless of what's up. And, uh, I can show you this H scene, but I won't because it's boring. Anyway, I'll let it go. You know, I thought I'd have a lot more to say about this clan than I did. Oh well. No biggie.
Um, but yeah, so generally musket units are not something that I employ a lot. Uh, Yuzuhara is going to be a pain, and basically without the popularity staff, I would never even use a musket unit. Just because they are so expensive, and they are so fragile, and I mean, I'm not smart enough to remember to put a guard unit next to them. I'm really, like, dumb, you know? So, it never works out for me in my life. I'm going to recruit Yuzuhara right away, too. But I'll talk more about that later on. And uh, after this, I'm going to the Miko Institute. I'm going to the Miko Institute. And Tanegashima taken prisoner. Not captured, taken prisoner. Different, somehow. Um, anyway, this is a scene with chaos, and... Uh, who fucking cares about the dialogue? It's like every other... It's like the dialogue in every age scene ever made. Doesn't matter. Unless it's like a psychological age scene. Am I gonna start ranting about that right now? Maybe briefly. But then it's not a rant. So I'll briefly discuss that. Psychological age scenes are like... Um... Really, uh... I'm too embarrassed to talk about that right now. <laughs> Did you think I was serious? You think I was really too embarrassed? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, we're done with this. That's a scary scene to me because Chaos's eyes are too big. I mean, I'm gonna press the tenshis. No, actually, I'm not gonna press the tenshis. I'm gonna go get this levy and get my defense textbook. I'm just gonna keep going. And you know, uh. Oh, the tenshi sect. I don't know how I'm handling them yet. Uh. I don't think Ron's route dictates a specific handling of detention sec, but I don't remember. Um, whatever. I guess I can discuss this a bit here while I'm declaring one of the Mikons too, because it's going to take forever, because uh, I have to go through all their stupid scenes. Um, you're probably wondering why Mori is so big and Takeda is so strong. And, you know, it is relevant to, like, their historical background and whatever, but, I mean, you never hear about Mori, really. Right, you don't hear about how badass Maltanari was toward the end of the war. You hear about the rivalry between Kenshin and fucking Shingen. You hear about that all the time. But you don't ever hear about Mori. Well, Mori was a big player because they allied with what the Tenshi sect represents in this game. The Tenshi sect represents like a large scale revolt of monks. Um, and religious peasants. Uh, this is gonna actually, this is gonna be too complicated to explain all in one go. So let me think about how to articulate this a little better. <laughs> I'll explain the Mori thing. So, okay, there were leagues against Nobunaga because Nobunaga was getting good and people fucking hated that. So Takeda Shingen was the leader of one of the leagues against Oda. He was like, you know... And a lot of people were in a lot of minor clans and shit, but he was one of the big deals. And, uh, his death by disease fucked a lot of stuff up. Like, Shingen might have been the unifier of Japan if he didn't die from disease. So, that's important, it's worth noting. But, um, Mori was the other big player against Oda, and, uh, Oda still crushed him. They just fucked Mori so bad. But... I'll talk about what the Tenshi sect represents when I'm fighting the Miko Institute. Because that's just easier for me to do. Because this is exhausting talking about this history of stuff. Like an old man. Like, if you're young and you're watching this, you know, kudos to you for liking... For openly watching hentai when you're like 15, you know? I didn't do that. I was fucking too embarrassed to be like, Oh yeah, I, I like hentai when I'm 15. Because when I was 15, I was a fucking coward, first of all. And, uh, taking an interest in history at a young age is pretty rare. Who does that? No one. But it's good. And, uh, I'll talk more about history later. I'm done with that shit for now. Uh, Yuzuhara, though, I will talk about her since I just recruited her. And she's getting the popularity staff ASAP, obviously, that as well. Um, and she's gonna keep it just the whole fucking game. And she'll just spiral out of- Well, mm, mm no. I told someone I'd get- I'd get- I'd give- if, bleh. I told someone that I would give Daidoji the popularity staff, and I will do that, because I love Daidoji. But um, 
Yuzuhara, typically... Hey, I can keep that H scene in the game, too. I mean, fuck it. You don't see any pussy or tits. I don't care. Um... I mean, look at it. Look at it again. Here. Look at it. There you go. Look, what? You don't see anything. You don't see anything. I could just boom. All day long. All day long. She's pretty cute. She's not important, though. She's never a character. And that is the end of that turn. Um, but strategy with Yuzuhara. Now, the most common strategy with Yuzuhara, and it's not like I hate you if you do this. It's not like it's bad if you do this. But it's so goddamn boring. Like, it's what everybody does. It is the most cliche strategy for Yuzuhara Yuzumi that has ever existed. And uh, everybody I've spoken to, like the majority of my friends, the majority of the people on the internet, give her the working bee. Which, if you don't know, the working bee is an item that gives you two more action flags at the cost of half your troops, which is totally negligible. Because, like, like, if you have six troops and you get the working bee, you go down to three. You can just replenish them, that's it. The penalty is immediate, and it only occurs if you remove the item and reattach it. So it's not a big deal. But, uh, that's what everybody does for Yuzuhara. And it's so boring. I'm... I might do that if someone wants me to, or... I don't know. But it's fucking boring to do that, I mean... Like, it's, uh... It's just a luck thing, you know? You just... Oh, yeah, Yuzuhara's got three chances to assassinate. Okay. You're... You know... Okay. <laughs> you know, it's just really boring. Whoops. Wrong tab, my bad. Come here, Yuzuhara, you can have this... stick. And, uh, I'll go to the Miko Institute in the next part, I'm not doing that in this one, fuck that. Rance gets some defense stuff, what, I only have one? I don't care, I'm giving him this too, fuck it. I'm not gonna dick around all day, what, he needs an intelligence one? Okay, I can... I guess I can do that, and castle sieging, who needs that? Um, Fuka? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I'm in the menus again. I got. I got to stop doing that. All right. Uh, then I will. I'll declare war on them and I'll attack them once, but I'll attack them in the next part, not this part. So how does that sound? Six, four, three, four, one. Am I gonna really waste Suzume on her one negotiation? Of course I'm not. Am I gonna waste Elena? No. You get out of there. Who's got three? Fucking Yuzuhara. No, Fuka. Good enough. Um, I fought these guys in my first route, so there you go. And to my knowledge, Miko Institute is just in this game because this is a fucking hentai game, and that is all. <sighs> oh, accept reinforcements, and I've got a satisfaction bonus. This is getting out of hand, so let me go and just get Uduza real quick. And uh, then I will see you in the next part. How's that sound?